Hi guys, today we're playing Ixion. I think that's how you say it. It's a it's a Greek word. It's an it comes from an ancient Greek king. But this game has to do with space. So let's just click on new game. Uh, the developers gave me a free key. And so I tried it out and it's pretty good. I'll have to let the intro play. Some of the dialogue... Let this go. Well, this part's kind of slow. They're just saying check, booster go. Uh, when we're playing the game, there is a lot of dialogue, people talking, and it's not too important. Uh, basically, this shuttle goes into space and it goes into into the space station. I'm not a big fan of some of these uh, long intros, but you're not missing anything. Sector one empowered and pressurized. decontamination protocol online. Disembarkation authorized. Message to crew members. Welcome on board the Tycoon, property of Dolus Aerospace Engineering Corporation. You will soon be given your assignments, but until then, please continue to wait near the docking bay. We hope you have a productive voyage, and we'd like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Administrator, I am Eden, the personal assistant installed on board the Tycoon. In accordance with the Munchie protocol, my primary purpose is to ensure the Tycoon's... So I'm just going to cancel this because it, they did a good job of this stuff, but we basically just went from the Earth and then around the Earth, there's, this is our big spaceship that's in orbit. And we're just one of those sectors in here. You know, if you if you buy the game, there'll be a link to the game on the Steam page in the description. But then you can watch the video. You're really not missing anything at all. So anyways, uh, I haven't paused. This is one sector. Eventually we can unlock. So this is sector six. Over here is sector two. So the spacecraft or space, it's like a mobile space station kind of. There's six sectors. So when we're going to build here, it's ideal to just jam stuff in, in my opinion, rather than trying to make it look uh, fancy. But we got to build, initially we have to build a workshop. And these guys are, these are basically like the workers. And since that's, that's our airlock there, so let's build the workshop right here. And you gotta build a road to it. But once that's built, we'll have to do a stockpile. So this is our workforce. And then with these stockpiles, We'll have to choose each one, what material they hold. So the first one we'll do steel alloy. Administrator, I wanted to introduce you to your first task person. So I'll just speed it up there. I'm Dolos' cryonics lead, Marduk council member, Giovanni Batista. So, let's see. Your first objective 
will be to begin setting up essential infrastructure. Oh, this is already done. I didn't even notice that. So I just opened this up, select it to steel alloy. And now these like old buildings, I'm assuming these were like temporary buildings for when they're, you can see there's like scraps and stuff, just from when they were building this uh, space station. So you just click on this and that tells them they're gonna go there and structure aboard the Titan and get all of that scrap. Conditions that are required to support your crew. Having laid these foundations, you will then oversee the installation of the Vol engine and perform a short test jump to Proxima Centauri. Upon arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of local space, gather a few rock and coal dust samples, so I just want fire to the colonization protocol, begin building the foundation. Clear out these guys so I can start coming down yeah, this yeah, direction yeah, yeah. and just and squeeze things in here. Back. Now, in order to achieve this, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the type. This will only functions. hold 100 steel. It's no big deal. There's the production, stockpiling and distribution of resources, construction, balancing of power output with allocation. Oh, and space exploration, you know, setting out expeditions and all that. Basically, everything needed to establish scientific advancement and harmonious autonomy on board the Tycoon following the first test of its whole engine. Eden's gonna just... Oh, that, that's just uh, food that's left. Because some of them have, like, uh, polymers. I think some might even have electronics. So let's just go and get this set up now. I think I'll start, like, right here. Maybe we'll have we'll have a road coming through here and down there. You have to connect these roads, at least one of them, if you want to unlock the next sector. Play and keep track of your main objectives. Oh, so, and administrator, don't let the position go to your head. But the has insisted to send two without steel alloy on the tycoon. But this mission is just in preparation for our next project, the Protagoras. The Marduk Council worked damn hard to pull this mission together ahead of schedule. So, toe the line, do as you're told, and bring the Tycoon back in one piece. Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from ecosystemic destruction to us, okay? One last word of advice. We don't all think like Veneer Dolos. As of yet, no human law... That's right, I can't... Get rid of that guy. We have to do some food right here. I've been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity knocking to me. Oh, these things build really fast. So now when that road's built, they're going to just harvest all that food. And I just built these roads because once you have a road to it, then you can go ahead and, as and assign it to be harvested. So now that can be harvested, they'll just quickly put it in there. And this is going to be my stockpile section. Just as soon as they get all of that done. And then I'm just going to the next thing I'll do is I'll build some roads out here. Oh, it's super it's on slow speed there that'll speed that up administrator i have established a connection with dolus's lead data scientist emma claim 
Oh, they're still constructing this. Okay, next transmission. Mr. Dolos has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security. Given the importance of the tycoon, we must have full control over what is happening inside the station. My name is Emma Klein, Dolos' lead data scientist and member of the Marduk Council. My department have just completed final synchronization between Eden and our data treatment tool, the DLS. The DLS, or Data Listening System, is capable of scanning, recording, and parsing exchanges of any kind. The DLS programming that is a part of Eden will filter all data collected and bring to your attention only the most relevant information. It will also provide you with a condensed overview of any situations that may arise and formulate potential future outcomes. It will permit you to give direct orders without having to go through additional unnecessary paperwork. Eden will then take care of everything via their DLS accreditation. As is often the case with tools produced by my department, I think you'll find that once you start using the DLS, you'll never be able to do without it. Oh, and before I let you go ahead and start writing history, Dr. Munchi, our lead medical expert, wanted me to bring to your attention a possible side effect of wool jumping. Whilst there is a correlation between prolonged space travel and the development of early onset dementia, he believes that a wool jump has the potential to accelerate this process, although this is yet to be proven. His recommendation is for you to immediately send any crew members that are exhibiting uncharacteristic or symptomatic behavior to an infirmary, as these facilities are equipped to treat the mind as well as the body. Remember that all of your actions and choices are being reported by Eden. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organization. The only people that you are answerable to are those of us who sit on the market council, who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. So you can see there was a building down here that had that had polymer. So I select this to be polymer. This will be electronics. And as we get rid of those, we sort of scrap it, they disappear. And I'm just gonna, I guess I'll still need that road there. Now it wants me to build communal di dining, so like a, a mess hall. So it's under up. Resolve the event. Oh, it's right here. So. Administrator, Tiquan crew members are currently unable to access food supplies. Niocon protocols direct the construction of a mess hall. This building is designed to distribute food from our stockpiles to the crew. Guaranteeing access to food supplies would reaffirm your competency as an administrator. So now I just have to build them a mess hall. So I want to first make sure I'll probably fit in like two more of these. And then I'm just going to get rid of this road, I think. And I'll seal that off. I think for the houses, I might start it off down here. Uh, the mess hall I could put right there, I think. So we just need 40 steel for that. If you build too much, it, you'll, you'll make too much work for your, your crew. But it's, it's not too complicated of a game. You know, just follow the tutorial. Build at least two steel alloys. I just went ahead and built, built more of these uh, stockpiles than I needed. It's not important to do that at all. And then we'll build this, then they'll want us to build housing. The dialogue, they've done a good job with all the voice acting and everything. But when you're trying to like do a playthrough, it's, it's a little much. But when you're playing your own, it's fine. So we'll need more polymers. We got plenty of storage for it. 
We'll use the polymers to build our spacecraft. This is a really interesting game. So F1 is this level, is this view. That's. Administrator, I have an incoming transmission from Marduk Council Member Henry Bargeville. And then F2 shows you right here, and you can like upgrade uh, the engines and solar panels from here. And then F3 brings you to space. We'll be doing some space missions. For who, administrator? What a wonderful day to embrace our faith, don't you think? I am Henri Barjaville, writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most of all member of the Mounted Council. I have taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Oshanabi, a ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies. The Ashtongites. Even though they are a small organization, the Ashtongites are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. The Ushanabi will provide us with a source of food while carrying out the Tycoon's initial testing. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long-term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. Please assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Administrator, trust in genetic connectors. Self similar space with grievance pattern. So as we progress in the game, you'll see that none of this dialogue really matters to us at all. It's just trying to set the the scene a little bit of what's going on. But the, the, these guys do, will not matter to us whatsoever. I just built some crew quarters. That's our crew right there. We have 85. These hold 15 each. So I'll just build a couple more. Look at those roads done. We'll assign these dockpiles to something else later. So we just have to, uh, like eventually our people go to the mess hall and get food. We have 51. And that'll get 200. Now they want us to build a cargo ship and a science ship. And this is our, uh, what do you call it? Our docking bay. And so here we can just go, okay, get the cargo ship and build the science ship. They each require, require polymer to build. We're doing fine with steel alloy. Okay, there's a mission here, an event. Administer, administrator, some crew members are lacking quarters. During human history, unnecessary homelessness has always been an indicator of civilizational dec decay. Do not reproduce humanity's basic mistakes aboard the Tiquan. Okay, I'll ensure that it's another mission now. So I should have... What am I lacking here? Oh, I'm just lacking the road. So I'll just speed up here. There's some more polymers. I'll, have, I'll tell them to go and get the rest of those. So we should be, we should have an ample amount. So we have the, the cargo ship built. And eventually I think we can like unlock technologies to upgrade. We do a miner as well. So a miner, a cargo ship and a science ship. Okay, so that mission's done. We have enough housing available. These two are kind of in the way, so I'll clear those out. And we're just waiting on the science ship now. Hopefully I'm not moving too fast here. But all we've done is build a workshop, then you just have to build, you know, a, 
really just three stockpiles. Alloys, food, and polymer. Okay, so now we have... Uh, I'll just go to this to space. But now we have to order the cargo ship to retrieve food via the fleet management me menu. And that's just right here. Or F1, it's right there. This is the F3 view. And all you do is just click this. And then you can prioritize stuff, I guess. Like, uh, the smaller the square, I'm assuming it's a less priority. So for right now, we're just saying, go get any food that's available anywhere. And that's what cargo ship will do. So that's, it's really cool how simple that is. And now our science ship is ready. Okay, so we go back to space, F3. And then it wants us to resolve the moon event. So these are little science events. There's one over there. So there's one down here as well. So I'll just click on it and then and click there and click on the moon. I'm think I didn't get that too far in the game, but I think maybe you can have like multiple science ships. I'm hoping anyways. And like multiple miners. Has arrived at its destination. So it's arrived, so we'll click on the event. Okay, summary of intelligence on the abandoned base. The base is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational and could be used to restore power. Transmission from the sensitive sensitives team. We have reached the UN base. It is abandoned and depressurized. The surveillance system is still operational, awaiting orders. So we can hack this surveillance system and dismantle the base. I don't know if it matters which order you go you go through. Sometimes bad things do happen, at least in the later missions. So there's some RNG involved. So we'll just do the exploit the secure the security vulnerability vulnerability. And that barrel just fell up. So we have to still work on feeding everyone. Eventually when you have a, the second sectors, you'll have to house people and provide food and a mess hall in every sector. So F3 to go to the space. We hacked into the main computer systems as you ordered and retrieved several relevant research papers and data sets. So now we get 10 science and so that's that mission's done then we can dismantle the base so your your scientists your science ship will have to stay there when this is done and actually sort of mine or extract the science so i'll just speed it up i guess there's still yeah, so I want to use up some of that iron while we're waiting. So I'll build up two more. Or some of that steel, sorry. So I just want to get this stuff out of the way. So once it's out of the way, I'll see what I can fit down in here. And then we'll eventually want to do tech lab. So these, these buildings get quite large. So hopefully they get rid of this one. Okay, good. Hopefully they're both gone. Yeah, they should both be gone. I don't think roads require anything though. Okay, F3. So the base has been dismantled and what we got from it was 
There's 30 steel alloy and 90 science. So they'll just sit there now and they'll extract the science. So in case you don't know, like this is a survival game and in a short while we'll we'll really feel like we're in survival mode as well. I guess it's full again. So I'll have to figure out where I can build this. And I might squeeze it in like right here. You can see the bottom where those those arrows are. I just press R to rotate. So, I'm just going to get rid of this road. I think I could put one like that. And we'll get the tech lab, just R to rotate it. So, your tech lab will generate like one science point, I think, every cycle. So, it's very slow. But the fast way to get science is to do this, extract science points. So we'll want to keep finding points of interest to, to look into and see if we get resources and research points. So I'll see where I can fit. I don't know where if I'll fit anything down there. I have an incoming transmission from Dolus's head of medicine, Dr. Abhinav Munchi. A new request awaits your attention. Administrator, due to insufficient levels of electricity generation, Sector 1's power demand has overloaded. Stanford routines recommend that you construct an external solar panel to boost overall electrical output. So you just power stuff down by clicking this on or off. Greetings, so it's F2 to get to this screen. Dolo's expert in compartmentalism and medicine and a member of the Marduk Council. I'm glad to finally meet you, even in this digital manner. Your psychological test results were quite impressive. My friend and colleague, Philip Stanford, couldn't be here today. So I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol engine integration. Before we get into that, however, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core systems. I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you are equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. Okay, so before we can build anything, we have to build another docking bay. I think that's what it was. It says construct an EVA airlock. Research EVA airlock. Huh. So maybe I built too many things here. Yeah, okay. I just I just over expanded. So I just powered those down. And now we can research the EVA airlock. This repairs up to 48 units of hull per cycle for four units of alloy, which is steel. And you can construct exterior structures. So we'll research that. Yeah, so I did get a little bit ahead of myself, but I do find that the game is quite forgiven. You get plenty of resources and you can dismantle these for resources as well. It doesn't tell you right here, but I think I got a fair amount back. Like last time I tried it. So I don't have any, uh, any uh, medic bay, medical bays. So go to population and there's an inf 
infirmary right there. So I could actually fit an infirmary. I think I would go right there. And hopefully we have enough power. I could power down this. So we don't have any electronics left. What about the science? Okay, the science ship is done. So we're going to tell it to go to Saturn. Oh, and there's some steel there. So we go to our fleet management and we tell our cargo ship, collect some steel as well. I'm going to say collect any of this stuff, electronics, polymer. So it'll just automatically go there. Get that stuff for us. And then our research progress is right there. So that's pretty fast. Our cargo ship is just returning, dropping stuff off. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Okay. A signature trace from an EKP system has been detected near Saturn. EKP technology is the exclusive property of Dolos, but records indicate that the company has not deployed any missions to the sector. The signature will soon enter the atmosphere of Saturn. So we'll send a team to investigate. It takes three cycles. And our research is done. So I'm just going to go ahead. So you get the tech lab produces one research every oh every 30 cycles. So we're going to have in order to unlock the next ring. We have to research all of this. There's just an insect farm and a probe launcher left. So we, we can go ahead and start that right now. Even though they don't tell you to yet. So space. It said build an EVA airlock requires 12 power. So we have four power available. So I guess I can. Yeah, I really overbuilt. Is there anyone in here? There's. Yeah, so these two we can unpower. I can unpower that. We're just going to get the EVA airlock. Oh, there's something down here, the sign. Oh, so it blocks it. Oh, anyways, we can build all the way here. So that's good to know that you can't put an airlock right there because that sign. We could put it like right there. It's orange because there's no road connected to it right now. Yeah, because I don't think we're going to be able to. We don't have the space to store all that. Just want to check to see if uh, it's done yet. Nope. So let's go ahead and build the airlock right there. Uh, I totally forgot about that build in there. It doesn't matter, we just go like that. It's so easy to just uh, re readjust those roads. So I'll just speed it up. Yeah, I wasn't, I knew about this game, but I wasn't too interested in, in it. And then they offered me a key just to try it out. And it's actually quite fun. I, I think the game's also won awards. 
Which nowadays awards don't really mean anything to me, but I can see why they this game got rewards. It's it's very innovative. It'd be interesting to see. Like I, don't, I haven't played the game that long, so it'll be interesting to see uh, what it has to offer. And it comes out well the December seventh. So that's when I'm releasing these videos. That's when the embargo is lifted. Did I not click on that? It's hmm. weird. So we have nine power available. This will take 12. How did I mess that one up? Power supply overloaded. Oh, well, I can just actually power do that restored. now. Every time you lose power, I think you lose trust. Okay, so now that it's built, we can press F2 and go to the sort of the spaceship view and you just click on exterior construction and we'll do a small solar panel. It just takes 10 polymer. We've got 55. You just click it and hull repair will be temporary pause when you're doing construction. So like as we do the next ones, It'll start to require, this is polymer, and then the third one is like a microchip, electronics. We can go to the second set and build one there as well. It's going to do the first one. What happens there? I haven't tried doing two at the same time. Yeah, so it's doing this one first. So let's see if it starts the second one. The team has completed yeah, it looks like it will. Okay, so that's nice. We'll go F3. See so what happened here. So the prototype rocket sent by the UN seems to use a variation of EKP. We have stripped it down and recovered schematics. So we get 10 science there. So they'll extract that. So this is just for doing constructions on your ship, on the exterior, and repairing it. We should be able to, we have 49 power available, so I'll power up this stuff. Be researching again, and it's nice that you can just power stuff off if you if you're not paying attention to your power grid. I just fix that road. Okay, so finish implementing the Vol engine via the build panel in the external view. So we're to the external view. We have two sets of solar panels, and then here's our engines. And we'll have to build the Vol engine now. So I'll go ahead and construct that. And now I can, since I'm spending some... It takes 100 steel to build that engine, so... Hopefully I can clear out this stuff. And put our scientist there. This is the last one. Well, it's one of the last events.
And the research is done, so let's do the probe launcher. This will allow us to send out probes to look for points of interest or just minerals like hydrogen and all that stuff and iron. We'll have to turn iron into steel. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of industrial things we'll have to do as well. So they're building that engine now. What else can we build? So we can build food. So I wanted to see if I could fit one down. That's good. So our mess hall is right. So they're going to send this food up into the storage right there. So I'll just face, this is an insect farm. So I'll face that right there. And it will tell you like we're losing 1.6 food every five cycles. So I'm not sure if you can get multiple shifts, but I hope so. Here comes a, a transmission. Administrator, because of your continued successful management of the Tycoon, Dolos have authorized the dispatch of new crew members and food supplies. Please ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima Centauri. A science ship has arrived. So I'll do this first. The UN has established a facility on Mars. Its crew are currently lacking the materials required to repair a critical fault in their oxygen supply system. They have submitted an official request to Dolus for aid. So, we're, so we can exchange. So we're going to exchange uh, 10 steel for 10 polymer. And we'll assign our cargo ship. And then we can just exit this. Yeah, so our cargo ship just left. Well, let's just make sure. Let's go to fleet. Yeah, he will transfer steel. Okay, the resources are in transit. Yeah, I just don't see him coming out yet, but... I think he's on his way. Hmm. So I have everything selected properly. Okay, ship's on the way. I think it was just kind of slow. The next thing it wants us to do is go, there's a ship here, your Shanaby. And it wants it to pick up 100 people. See, there's your cargo ship going. So all we have to do is go here. I want to get this mission set up first. But then you can go here and say, yeah, get some more food and then uh, get some more people. We'll just put that in a lesser priority. And we'll have to come back here and there's an event again. Administrator, food supplies are dwindling. Despite claim control protocols, some crew members have become aware of this. They're worried food will soon run out. So make a commitment to increase food production. So we'll build three insect farms or that there will be three. So we just have to build two more. This is where it's a little bit like uh, Tetris in a way, trying to Trying to fit all that stuff in. So I wonder if I can build... Let's go to space. I want to try to build another docking bay eventually, but nothing can go there. A probe launcher, yeah, everything's going to be blocked from that region. I'll have to build a probe launcher, so I'll get that built as well. And I guess in this space here, we can just fill it in with whatever. Last time I had my storage there, and I guess it was a great idea. It just didn't, it's very central. So it's good to know. 
Okay, so what am I doing? I'm doing food. It's kind of a waste even to lose that one little thing there. So I'm just gonna go like this because I could fit three in there like that. Okay, so we'll just speed that up. So, how's my power? My power is doing pretty good. It's 58. We'll have to do research. Okay, so the next thing they'll want us to do is batteries. So, we'll just do batteries right now. The oxygen supply system has been repaired, and the relationship between Dolos and our competitor has improved by 42%. Okay, so they'll extract that. The cargo ship will go to your Shannon B and get the food and people. So we have to build uh, more shelters, more crew headquarters, crew quarters for them. Oh, nice! I can fit that right there. I don't know if I have enough. I have like like 60, 70. So I'll have to build a few more. I wonder if I can build some down here. Oh, I fit some stuff up there. But in the meantime, I could just put some stuff here. And we'll see how that works out. So we got all the research done. We're just waiting on getting the food and the people. The cool thing too when we build probes is, is that you can just have it auto build them because we'll be sending out tons of probes. And it's just three polymer to replace them. I don't know what it means by the building is purging waste. But I think it's a good thing. Okay, so he's dropping off the food and we'll start getting people. It'll tell us down here when people are homeless. It doesn't say it up here as far as I know. So we have, oh, our food supply is, yeah, we've got three farms. The different phases of preparation, calibration, and verification were successfully completed. You must now start the full binding procedure. Dolo's protocols now deem you competent to gather resources, knowledge, and test colonization routines once you reach Proxima Centauri. Before you do so, Vanir Dolos, Marduk Council Founder and Dolos CEO, wants to talk to you. So we were, we were just 15 short. Hello, Administrator. I'm glad to see that you have managed to complete your assignments in preparation for this unique moment in history. You must understand that this is not simply another chapter in humanity's story. The book of our life on Earth is over. And we stand now at its epilogue. It saddens me to think that there are many who have yet to comprehend the reality of our situation. We've endured endless cycles of war, crisis, and famine. Still, the worst is yet to come. There are others like Dolos who have prepared for this outcome, but most of our kind remain sheltered from the horror of the predicament we find ourselves in. This pale ghost of civilization will wither and die, and with it, the tenets and values of the past. As we prepare to leave this system for the first time, perhaps we must decide which fragments we will pick up and take forward with us. Through Dolos, I am offering mankind an alternative means of survival. 
The tycoon is a tablet upon which we will carve our new history. Do you recognize why I have done all of this? Having foreseen our fate, I became fixated on altering it. I set about fashioning the ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. It is true that our time in this world is brief, but at least I can rest assured knowing that my legacy will endure for eons. Farewell, Administrator. For the few who stand in the light and the many who dwell in the dark, you carry the fate of us all. So I'm probably going to end this on the next... It's going to be like a video. So all I have to do is just click on the T Quan and we have to go into orbit around the moon. So let's click on the moon. So it's going to start a video here and we'll just sit back and watch. It's very important to watch this and it's well done. And then right after that, I'm just going to end the video. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. So then, and watch. I hope everyone watches so then it lets me know to keep uh, uh, producing more. Especially when I see those likes. So now we can initiate a vol jump via the button the planetary system. So that, that's right there. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. All ships must return to the tycoon before vol jump initiation. So, the spaceship, the science ship is coming back. I don't know if I should wait for it. It's uh, almost there. So I've got to bring that back. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, I think it's in now. I don't know if it matters. Earth, our home, she is unique. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, Humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there dark that we are masters of our own destiny that we must go as a species bound together pushing further 
into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the Vol Engine. could go wrong. Several anomalies detected. Multiple digital security breaches found within full jump routines. Full engine critically damaged. Hull integrity compromised. Analysis confirms discrepancies between the mission clock and the apparent advanced state of the solar system. We are receiving no communication signals from Earth. Likelihood of ongoing survival stands at approximately 7.67%. Activating Marduk survival protocols. New mission objective established. Ensure humanity's survival by finding a habitable exoplanet. Urgent issues requiring immediate attention. Increase food production output. Restore hull integrity. Okay, so our hull got really damaged. A new request awaits your attention. So you can click on that. And now it just automatically re keep repairing. But it'll take uh, steel. So they said our food's a problem. So we'll just need like one more food, I guess. And that's where I'd put that. So yeah, please like and subscribe and comment. Let me know if you guys are interested in me uh, playing this game more. I'll probably do a few episodes. Yeah, now you can really feel like you're in a survival uh, situation now. And we'll have to find steel and uh, all that stuff. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.